And what I have here is I have a jar of oil from one of our Chio wells. And what you can see is at room temperature at 20 degrees C, this oil is solid. You can actually see into it and it's not pouring anywhere. It's, it's basically the consistency of shoe polish. It smells fantastic. That's the smell of money if I ever smelt it. It's good quality oil. It's 40 API oil, but because it has this low pour point, if it cools down below about 30 degrees C, it turns hard like this. And this is the result. If we keep it a little bit warmer than 30 degrees C, it's a completely look, different looking oil. And that's what we'll see when we have a look after we heat it up. Okay, so just to demonstrate uh, what happens when you actually heat this oil up a little bit, and I'm just gonna use some hot water here to heat it up, but again, we could use electricity or heaters or anything like that. I'm just gonna pour some hot water around it. And we'll just let it sit for a few minutes. And I think you'll see a bit of a difference. Okay, so this has been sitting in, in hot water just for a couple of minutes now, and you can see the difference. All of a sudden, this is beautiful, high API crude oil. Again, this oil sits in our reservoir. This is what it looks like because our reservoir is nice and warm. It only gets sticky and gooey like it was before if it cools down. So TAG's goal with this first phase of optimization is to keep it warm like this, and then we get maximum value for it. Thank <laughs> you.